Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the graph of f is given, and we're asked to use it to graph the following functions. So first we have y is equal to f of 2x. So this is shrinking horizontally by a factor of 2. So what that means is that the x values of all of these points are shrunk in half. So let's say we have this point here. Actually, we can start with this point, right? Its x value is 0, so it stays in the same place. However, this point has an x value of 1, so it becomes 1 half. And the line that once looked like this gets shrunk to that. If this point down here, its y value stays the same, but its x value goes from 4 to 2. So it'll look something like this. And then this point it, um, has a y value of 0, and that stays the same, but it gets x value gets shrunk in half to look like that at 3. And notice that I picked the endpoints of all these line segments because then you can just fill in between. So this right here is A. Um, I'll write it right there. Next, we have y is equal to f of 1 half of x. So this is a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2. So whereas the x value of this point went from 1 to 1 half, now it's going from 1 to 2. The x value of this point is going from 4 to 8, and the x value of this point is going from 6 to 12, which we don't even have space for. So this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Make sure that's still on the screen, it is. So now we can connect these points like this. So this is B, this is F. Next we have C, F of negative X. The negative sign is within the function. So this is reflecting about the Y axis. So we just have to do everything we did on this side. So we go to the right one and up one, to the left one and up one. Then to the right three and down three. So to the left three and down three. We have to continue the axis a little bit here. To the right two and up one, to the left two and up one. And this is what it looks like, more or less. And this is C. And then notice we have f of negative x here again, so we take this function and we do that. And then we reflect it again here, this time against the x-axis. So here we're just flipping it and it'll mirror it over the x-axis, something like this, right? Where instead of going to the left two and down one, we go to the left two and up one, right? And, and so on. In the same way that this is mirrored about the y-axis, this is mirrored about the x-axis. So this is D, so we have A, B, C, and D, all from the graph of F.